Diabetic kidney disease is a major public health problem in Singapore. In the world, Singapore has the number one incidence of diabetes as a cause of end-stage kidney failure. Every day in Singapore, nine person will be diagnosed kidney failure. So every day there will be nine people in Singapore who will require a kidney replacement therapy. With Dynamo, we're bringing together a team of, of scientists, people working both in basic discovery science as well as clinicians working with patients with a single focus goal of helping patients who have diabetic kidney disease. It's happening not only here in Singapore, which is where the project is really focused, but also in Europe and in the U.S. Dynamo is a very large, ambitious project which provides a multi-dimensional observation from genetics to patients, from animal model to cell-based model to study and understand diabetic nephropathy. Dynamo will be very powerful to enable us to discover new biomarkers, identify people at risk of diabetic kidney disease. It will also reveal to us in depth the disease biology. In Dynamo, we uh, express the goal to reduce the incidence of end-stage kidney disease caused by diabetes in Singapore by more than 25%. So we hope that these studies will have real impact on patients and their families. In Dynamo, we have access to several large prospective multi-ethnic cohorts. And from these cohorts, we have collected their baseline biological sample. And the participants are observed over a decade. We organize our patients into various subgroups. Those who experience progressive diabetic kidney disease versus those who have stable kidney function. And from the baseline sample collected, we can observe a metabolite signature to predict who is going to experience a kidney progression. In this study, there are 1,000 patients with diabetes. We sequence the whole genome and then we try to find changes in the genome that correlate with complications of diabetes and, and or uh, absence of complications. We focus first on uh, mutations in the parts of the gene that encode for uh, proteins. Then we have a, a gene level analysis where we can study individual genes and find out which mutations are there. And then the third is then to study clusters all over the genome which are enriched in individuals that either have complications or who do not have complications. We hope to be able to identify aberrant pathways in uh, patients with diabetic kidney disease who are fast progressors and determine whether or not these are uh, druggable targets. Novel biomarkers may improve the performance of risk calculators by maybe 10-15% uh, but by not that much more. Hope is that uh, transcriptomics, uh, proteomics, metabolomics in a serial manner will be able to actually produce a risk factor analysis or to uh, diagnose diabetic kidney disease or even prognosticate diabetic kidney disease. This coupled with uh, bioinformatics and uh, artificial intelligence should be able to bring us very close to uh, 90, 90 odd percent in the future for novel uh, biomarkers. Diabetic kidney disease has been a, a subject of research for many years, and, and despite that fact, we don't really understand the major root causes of kidney disease and diabetes. We can take advantage of genetic manipulation in our mouse models to very precisely manipulate uh, pathways that may have functional uh, uh, importance in causing diabetic kidney disease. We found uh, metabolic abnormalities uh, that are similar both in humans and in our mouse models, which we're trying to use productively uh, to get at uh, uh, basic causes of, of kidney disease and increased risk. I'm a stem cell researcher. In my lab, we are particularly interested in generating three-dimensional kidney organoids from human pluripotent stem cells in order to allow us to model some of the features in diabetic nephropathy. In diabetic nephropathy, kidney uh, patients, VEGFA signal is very badly disrupted. Podocytes are the major source of VEGFA within uh, kidney. Currently, we are trying to employ chemical reagents, which will cause podocyte toxicity to see whether this will affect VEGFA production, which will cause reduction of vessel network within the kidney organoids. 
in diabetic patients, we often found that uh, diabetic nephropathy and rhinopathy uh, occurs uh, together. We hope to use retinal image to predict the risk of the development of uh, diabetic nephropathy. In my lab, we mimic vascular abnormalities. We found that dysregulated lipid metabolism and mitochondrial dysfunction are common for patients with both diabetic rhinopathy and uh, nephropathy. For me, the most exciting part of the research in Dynamo is the opportunity to bring together teams of very talented scientists that are dedicated to addressing what is a major public health problem in Singapore and around the world. We have the opportunity to work with a diverse group of colleagues, from basic scientists to clinicians to biostatisticians. It's this uh, shared passion of trying to find solutions to help people with diabetic kidney disease that keep us going.